A sharp focus today on past comments made by some of former President Donald Trump's cabinet members and close aides. CBS 2's Dick Brennan reports it was part of testimony in the congressional hearings held on the January 6th Capitol assault. The January 6th committee was back at it again, using the words of Trump's own aides to discredit his lies about election fraud. There was an avalanche of all these allegations of fraud that built up over a number of days, and it was like playing whack-a-mole. Former Attorney General Bill Barr, who said nothing in the weeks after the election about Trump's fraud allegations, described the president's claims as, quote, crazy. All the early claims uh, that I understood on, uh, were, were completely bogus and silly and usually based on complete misinformation. I thought, boy, if he really believes this stuff, he has, you know, lost contact with, uh, with uh, he, he's become detached from reality if he really believes this stuff. And then there was Rudy Giuliani fueling Trump's fire, telling him the election had been stolen from him, allegedly after having a few. Was there anyone in that conversation who, in your observation, had had, had too much to drink? And the mayor was definitely intoxicated. The former president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, says he warned Trump about Giuliani's advice. And, and how did he react? Uh, we said, you know, I, I, I have confidence in Rudy. Former Trump campaign manager Bill Stepien was expected to be a star witness, but his wife went into labor. The committee instead showed recordings of Stepien's deposition, in which he acknowledged urging then-President Trump not to declare victory on election night. It was far too early to be making any calls like that. Um, ballots, ballots. We're still being counted. The president did anyway. Frankly, we did win this. Election. Former Vice President Mike Pence, who refused Trump's demand that he object to the certifying of the election, defended his actions today. I'll always believe that I did my duty that day. The committee also said election lies helped Trump raise a quarter of a billion dollars. The donations solicited for an election defense fund the committee says didn't really exist. Maurice.